Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 812, also known as Road to Ruins. If you like this video, please like, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Before we get into this, I want to say that the reason why I decided to read this was this is because of the title being kind of cool. Let's get right into this. Survival or, or, or difficulty. Class 2. Unsafe, secure, low entity count. Road to Ruins is the 812th level of the backrooms, formerly designated as level 600. Road to Ruins takes the form of various winding and non Euclidean roads across a mostly featureless desert. Description Road to Ruins is made up of mostly winding roads. They can dip into valleys, cross over each other in bridges, or just connect in intersections. The empty husks of various ground vehicles layer the streets, examples being bikes, cars, trucks, or tanks. The roads themselves are featureless, posing no actual road markings or signs to direct a traveler. The roads, as well as following no path, also possess non-Euclidean properties. They will oftentimes overlap themselves without having any intersections. Many people have been known to lose other people or be split up in groups because of this anomalous effect. The cars on this level are usually empty. However, they can sometimes contain the following supplies which can aid in survival. Canned food, batteries, plastic bottles filled with almond water, flashlights, a crowbar, and a bulletproof vest. Sometimes, anywhere that isn't a road is nothing more than a plain void desert. The material that covers the ground has been noted to feel differently from sand and has been connoted to feel like ash. Although this has not been verified and is likely a false. Oh, right. Here's an image of some car body is off the road and a bridge intersection and road to ruins and more debris by the roadside. Related page found. Oh, we have to see this. Level A, safe, habitable, established colony or colonies. Scene 01.1 is an A-rigged scene of the death rooms. It was discovered on August 31st, 1987. Scene 01.1 is a, a, is a vast array of cities interconnected with roads that travel through a vast mountainous landscape. Picture of the mountains and roads. And this broken picture is apparently was once a city center. Layout and effects. Scene 01.1 is comprised of two main areas. Large bustling cities that bear similarity to scene 01.2 and large expanses of mountainous wonder uh, of mountainous woodlands that separate the cities. The cities are devoid of entities, with the only exception being the sapient cars that drive on their own accord. They possess no human-like qualities and only drive along the roads in a peaceful fashion and follow all road safety laws. Although the inside of buildings bear resemblance to existing structures in the real world, they're all unfurnished and empty. Although various inhabitants have odds furniture from other scenes and have been setting up homes here, many of the buildings are still empty. The occasional room has been shown to, disc to display non-Euclidean properties. These rooms are clearly signposted to be non-Euclidean and possess no interest when uh, entering them. The forests of scene 01.1 take place along mountainous its landscapes. The forests are thick with trees but support no wildlife or insects. Rivers can be found inside the forest, but they all have no start or end. The rivers never form rapids and are considered to be safe for swimming and drinking. 
The roads follow no direct pathways and will wind around the mountains and landscape randomly. One can oftentimes find simple concrete supported bridges that span many miles. Going from one mountain and peak to another, the Karyansis can also be found here, but they are less common in the forest. Recorded Civilizations Leaders Outposts City Livers Contains over 100 members. They reside in a large hotel named the Queen's Voyage. They assist other scene travelers in getting settled into scene 01.1. Scene 01.1 Residence, the blanket term for the civilized for the civilians that reside in the cities of scene 01.1. Friendliness can vary from person to person. There are known to be at least 1,000 people inside each city. Scene 01.1 The Campers, well I keep on saying 01.01 by accident. The blanket term for the civilians that reside in the forests of scene 01.1. Friendliness can vary from person to person. Each campsite ranges from 2 to 15 members. The exact amount of camps is unknown, but it's confirmed to be in the hundreds. Access and Egress How to Enter Scene 01.1 can be accessed from scene 01.5 by no clicking through any of the trees in the scene. Alternatively, in scene 00.8, you can find artwork that looks like you have a postcard. Touching this in any way will transport you to scene 01.1. However, it, is, it also is known that you can end up in scene 01.1 when entering the dev rooms from the real world, hence why so many people reside here and end up here. How to leave. In scene 01.1, there are plentiful exits to scene 01.2, which is level 11, in the cities, and scene 01.5, which is level 63. As well as as scene 01.4, which is level 135, from the forest. Still nothing on what this is then? Fine, I'll probably do some digging around the place to find out myself. It's not like the pirate goers and their constant editing. It seems like ge some genuine old article on some unknown level. Hmm. Bases, outposts, and communities. Bandit camps. Bandit camps are the blanket term for where the bandit entities will reside. Each contains 1 to 13 bandits. They can be friendly, but the clo ones close to the edge of the level may be more hostile. The bandits are a major threat in Road to Ruins. They are humanoid entities that move in groups from 7 to 12 members that can talk like normal humans. They all pose the ability to use guns, examples being shotguns, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. Some bandits use intrusive weapons including fire axes, machetes, metal baseball bats, crowbars, and batons. Their only distinguishing feature from ordinary human beings is their corpse-like appearance and rotting smell. Seems no one saw my last, last message on these bandit people. It's mostly the same thing in this level, but now they're all wearing some kind of military uniform too. It's weird. If I go back to this place, I'll definitely do some more research on these people. These entities can be easily defeated with a salt firearm. Once killed, the bodies of the bandits will disappear, as well as their guns, except for their, their melee weapons.
entrances and exits. Entrances. To access this level, you can and randomly find it in the blue channel. Going towards it will eventually drop you into the level. Another way to access this level is to go to the east of level 910 and jump off the road, which will bring you to the blue channel. Once here, continue to travel east until finding this level. Exits. To exit the road out to ruins, you'll have to find the edges of this level. Once there, you can jump off and enter the blue channel. So I'll just put this here again. This place has the same strange entrances as the other level that's a ruined city. Are they connected? Why? They're two separate areas. I guess more research will tell. I believe we stumbled upon a new backrooms meta, where instead of levels, they're called scenes. And they have different names for or, or their levels. Or we just, or it's just this one time. Who knows? Anyway, if you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!